Okay, this is February 17th. This is iOS version 1.3.6, build 1.0.6, Android version 1.8.3. So, um, last time we had an issue of when the Apple devices as waiter screen goes off after 5, 10 minutes-ish, that the tables would be released. So I'm going to log in as waiter on these two Apple phones. And... I'm sorry, these two will go as waiter. These are Androids. And these are to reflect the tables that uh, would be occupied by the waiters over here. This is a fresh install, by the way. So I'm going to go with Super Grill Anise. This guy, device number one, we'll select table number one. This guy, device number three, we'll select table number three. Um, this guy, device number Wait for five. This is number six. And this is number eight. Okay. Now, these guys will go in as dining customer to see if they can select a table that might be released. This is not populating. Hmm. Not giving a feed. Oh, there we go. Okay, Super Grill and East, Super Grill and East. This one has a different listing of restaurants. Showing restaurants starting at 1.72 miles away at the top. 1.1, 1.01, 1.25, and then ODM at 0.63. So starting from furthest distance, they are not in order. It's refreshing. Now it gave the correct Super Grill and East at 0.21 mile away. So let's go with this guy at table one, corresponding to that. That way we got an Apple customer on an Apple table. Let's go with um, this guy, an Android customer on an Apple table three. Let's go with this Apple as a Um, it's an Android waiter over here, six. And we'll go with this Android as a table eight. Okay, just to show that each device gets its ping. One, table three, table six, table eight. Great. And it's showing up on the notification screen. Yep. Okay. All right. Great. Let's go back to there. And now, and I'm not going to run this video. Basically, I'm going to do a timeout. I'll do 10 minutes. And we'll see what the situation is. So I'm going to stop this and start it over again after I power the screens off. I'll do it for customers also. All these devices are here at my home in 10 minutes. We'll see how it does. Okay, here we have timer, 10 minute timers up. So these two iPhones are waiter, customer, iPhones, customer Android, waiter Android. So by turning on the uh, customer, should be able to send a request. Now, Android got the uh, request, but it didn't give the audio that. Um, says customers requesting service. This is table six, so it should be over here. Yeah, that was that one. So it did get it, but it didn't give the correct audio notification, which I understand Androids can't, and that's a major problem that I knew about. That can't be resolved, I understand. So it did get the request, and it would display on a watch. Now, let's see. 
question is, did Android get, I mean, did iPhone or can iPhone get a request? So this is to this iPhone, waiter notified. I got it on my watch. Oh, that's good. I got it on the watch. Table one, requesting service. One, two, three. So then which one's on table three? Now this iPhone does not have a watch to it, but it did get the request. So that means this waiter's still logged in, this waiter's still logged in. That's good. I've already turned these screens on. We already knew the Android were working before. Um, okay, that's good. Fixed. Wow, that's so good. Thank you. Now that's the audio, audio notification that Android gets when the screen is on, but when the screen is off, it only gives a standard notification, which the waiter wouldn't know if that's a notification from a customer or whether it's Facebook, email, text message, TikTok, who knows what. Instagram, any other notification, they're all the same. But I'm happy to see that at least the iPhone screen off doesn't log the waiter off anymore. So let's see, yeah. Okay. Okay, wow. All right, so that works. Good. Very good. Thank you.